What's up guys? We just landed in New York City. We flew out of San Diego this morning and today's a very special day because of the title and thumbnail of this video. You can see that we're gonna be picking up our new G82 M4, which I know this might come as a shock. And I wanna say right off the bat, no, this is not the replacement for the C8. This is a car that I've particularly had on order for the past year. More on that later. I did not come here by myself today. Anthony is with us, but he's on a different flight. He landed in the last five minutes. We are about to get picked up from Al from BMW, the dealership who helped facilitate this whole entire thing. I'm so excited. It's freezing right now. I wish, you know what? I'm gonna pull it up on my phone. Where I'm from in San Diego, man, it is like 70 degrees. And right now, it is currently 44. It was colder in the past couple days, but it's currently 44. It's freezing. We're gonna get picked up soon, so let's try and find our ride. Look at this thing. This thing is crazy. I believe that's for us. This is definitely for you. How you doing, brother? Oh, no, brother. Oh, nice to meet you. It's doing. freezing out here. It, it is. It's is so cold. Is. Damn, what is this thing? So, is this, this a 7 Series? Brand new 7 Series. I7, so fully electric. What? Um, Technically not out yet, but it'll be so out next week. this is a VIP treatment. This is, this is. This is definitely Wow. Oh my gosh. There's a screen on the door. Oh boy. Wow, this thing is so cool. This is going to be a pretty nice ride to the dealership. Freezing. It's freezing out here. Freezing. It's freezing. It's so cold. Oh my gosh. Oh, and that comes wow. Let me know when you got the HDMI. Holy moly. All right, guys, we just pulled up to the dealership. Now, I'm very excited to give you guys a tour of this place because there is a ton of really cool cars here. To my knowledge, they're East Coast number one M dealership, so they have tons of really cool stuff, like this car. I can't show too much of it, but it's not available to public yet, and they gave us a special ride in it. Super rad, super cool. Look at the interior on this thing. Anyways, we're gonna go inside. We gotta do some paperwork, and then we can finally go and see the M4 for for the very first time. First thing Al did when we walked in here is he's like, hey, do you want to go see the car? And I said, absolutely not. I want to wait. We're going to go ahead and finish the paperwork. Uh, we've already done most of the paperwork uh, days before this. We just got to sign some letters and cross our T's and dot the I's. This is the first key. Very cool. And then he has the second key. And this is new. I'm a new BMW owner. I haven't owned a new BMW. The last BMW I've owned besides our E90 M3 was our X5M. He's like, oh, and your third key is this little card right here. It's a credit card. How, how is that a key? That's pretty cool. I know Teslas do this, so it's not the newest thing out there, but this is new to me. This is very, very cool. All right, we just finished the paperwork. Now we're going upstairs where they have more cars. Just building the anticipation. I've only seen one photo of it. And again, I'll explain how I even found this car in the first place, but that's like the real only photo I actually saw of this car. I never thought I would own this car. A little fun story. I was planning on buying an F80 and then I saw this car and I had to have it. It is like a maze. Oh, I, I haven't seen it yet. Or, oh, I see it. Wait, why, do, why do I not see I it? I see it. How do you? Oh, I see it. It's in the back. Damn, son. I see it now. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh, the interior. Dude, it pops. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, boys, I want to introduce you to what we believe is a one of one individual British Racing Green G82 M4 comp. Dude, it's, it's interesting to see the color of like BMW's British Racing Green. The different types of like colors that I've been making on the previous cars, the 458, the Lambo, and even the Veilset RX-7, my British Racing Green is actually a, like a combination of like Bugatti Green, and we've added a couple different elements to brighten it up. And this is, oh, 
So one thing that about British Racing Green is in the shade, it looks really dark, but in the sunlight and in proper light, it pops and it has like this radiation, like forest green vibe. And we're not gonna see the true colors today, but just seeing this as a whole, damn, this thing is sick. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Oh, it oh smells so good. My God, dude. It smells like a million bucks in here. Oh Holy my shit. God. Dude, these seats. They're insane, right? What? There's like an inner thigh like support. Uh, we have to do a full <sighs> breakdown of this, but here we go. First cold start in New York, 35 degrees. Stocking sauce is gonna be loud, I don't know. Here we go. It's so quiet, but it's so good. <laughs> Word, I'm dumb. I didn't know you can put it in M2 mode and it opens the valves. It's actually a lot quieter with the valves open. It has 16 miles on it. Oh! I think we're gonna move this into the showroom where it's a little bit brighter and we can do a full walk down. Holy crap, dude. This thing is, this thing is nice. <laughs> take the M4 out and we're gonna be driving it for the first time. It's really cold outside and dark, so we're gonna take it a little bit easy, but this thing is so sick. I cannot believe how good the orange interior pops on the green. I was a little hesitant about it, but seeing it in person, it looks phenomenal. I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to BMW of Westchester. I wanna give a big shout out to Al. If anyone's in the area and you're looking for an M car, if you look for this guy. Right here. I'll hook you guys up. Definitely will. He was telling me that they have a lot of M inventory at this dealership. I know a lot of you guys are probably looking for some sweet deals. And this is definitely, if you're in the East Coast area, come check it out. And who knows, maybe they might just have another British Racing Green car coming through sometime soon. Probably not, right? Probably not. Probably, probably not. not. Probably not. <laughs> really cool G80. Uh, what was the color? This is Tanzanite blue. Tanzanite blue. You can kind of see it in person. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. It's a pre-owned car. X3M almost got Sabrina, this car. This thing is super sweet. These things can boogie. And then on the other side, they have an X7 Alpina. This thing is rad, man. Wow. Yeah, I was gonna say that that fitment looks pretty sweet. <laughs> We're literally just about to leave and we come outside and it's snowing. Not necessarily like what I want, but how cool is this? This is so cool, man. Wow. Now when I tell you guys it was freezing, it it was it was it was freezing. Let me get my phone. I need to get a picture for the gram, boys. Thank you so much. Anytime, brother. I appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. I'll see you guys again soon. Um, it is snowing. This is quite the turn of events. I'm freezing. We're gonna get in the car. We're gonna get out of here. This thing was once clean and it had no carpets, but now it's it's our car, baby. Let's use it, let's get it dirty, let's enjoy it. All my friends on the East Coast are like, hey, do yourself a favor, don't stay in New York City. It's, it's a nightmare. I booked us a hotel in New York City and it's an hour to get there and then everyone here was like, wait, you booked yourself a hotel in New York City? Where are you gonna park? I was like, oh, all of a sudden like a parking garage or something. And they were like, dude, that's like the worst idea you could have done. You're, you shouldn't be taking this car in there. But it was a really expensive hotel room, I don't wanna cancel it. So we have to go and try to find a 
parking garage. We're gonna get going on the road. Now it's snowing and cold, so I wanted to just rip it off the bat. We're probably gonna have to take a little bit easy, but this car has all wheel drive, so we should be okay. But I wanna get a little backstory on this car. I'll do it once we start driving, because we, we now, now we really need to go. All right, complete change of plans. We were gonna stay in New York City tonight. Anyone who lives in the Tri-State area, you're probably like, TJ, why the heck would you stay in New York City when you're in this car? And that's because, well, one, I'm an idiot. I booked us a hotel because I thought it would be vibey and I thought it would be cool for the vlog to stay in New York City. Uh, but then I realized that parking there was a nightmare and everyone that I told at the dealership, I'm like, yo, can you help us out with parking? They were like, do not park this car there. I was like, no, there's valet. Like I called the hotel. We could go to like a random parking lot, like a parking garage. And they said, no, they take your car. They park it for you. It's an absolute nightmare. You're going to have to try to overpay to get your car in the front. They were just like, don't do it. Do not do it in this car. They got in my head and it worked. I panicked. We started coming into New York and there was all these different cars and I just, I freaked out. I called the hotel. I canceled. By the graces of God, I was able to get a full refund. And then I called Grant because Grant lives in Connecticut and Connecticut is not far from New York. So we're going to drive to Connecticut now and we're going to stay at Grant's house tonight and we're going to get food and we're going to go on a little road trip and stay at Grant's house. So Grant, we're on the way to you. And I want to give you guys a little review of this car, but it's just not the right place to do it. But what I can tell you is this thing drives amazing. I don't know how quick it is yet because um, it's like too cold. I'm too scared to do a pull. And I, I don't know. That just freaks me out. But it is the nicest interior in the whole entire world. This thing is nicer than my Uricon. It was nicer than my 458. It was nicer than the GT3 RS. This thing's like nicer than Sabrina's Urus. This thing is amazing. It's so cool. I'm a beaver boy. I'm back. I've, I've left. I'm back. Well, I was back with the E90, but I'm back. I'm here. Beamer boy is here. I'm buying an M3 now just so it matches. So cool. I love this car. I can't figure out how to use this. This thing kind of sucks. This I'm not gonna nav lie. system sucks. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Mr. BMW, it sucks. I don't know how to even turn this off. We're an hour and a half away. I wanted to take Anthony out to a nice dinner tonight in the Times Square. <laughs> And now we're probably going to get McDonald's because I don't Sick. know. Connecticut doesn't have food. They all have is McDonald's. That's a joke. Don't take offense to that, <laughs> Connecticut people. That's an inside joke with me and Grant. I'll update you guys once we get a little bit closer. An hour and a half later, we have arrived at... Yeah, just in my new M4. <laughs> this thing's nice, dude. It is pretty nice. Fuck. I'll give you a tour, but it's pretty I got an old crappy one. You got that old F80 junk? Yeah, it's junk. This yeah. thing's sick. Holy shit. Yeah, it's Anthony, it's like your TikTok dreams come this true. Is literally, <laughs> this is on, This is Anthony's dream car. I know, I love right it. Hi guys, we've seen each other like every week for the past two months. This is great. I'm a part of the family now. I know. We, we, this is awesome. We've adopted you. Oh, it smells new. So as I sit here on Grant's couch, I'm very tired, but I forgot to explain to you guys how I even got this car, and I said I would do it in this video. Like I said in the beginning, this M4 is not the C8 replacement. This M4, I actually ordered, or I bought it like six or seven months ago. And the story goes, I was in the shop one day and Evan Beckerman from Throttle sent me a picture on my phone and we were in the office together. He was like, yo, check this out. And he saw a Facebook listing for a British Racing Green or a BMW individual G82 competition, X drive, fully specced out and with the color option, British Racing Green. And he's like, dude, you should totally buy this. He sent it to me as a joke and I saw it and I fell in love with it. And it was just like a render of one. It wasn't even like a, it wasn't actually built because it was an individual. So even so I called the dealership, I'm like, yo, hey, I really would like to buy this car. And they were like, oh, sorry, we only sell cars, people in like the local area. And I was like, please, I really, really want this. Got a hold of the GM and Al made it happen. And I was like, I really want to buy this car. So I just saw a picture of it and I was like, yo, I need to have that. At the time, I really want to get an F80. And I was like, well, maybe I'll just make the jump to the G80. It was still being built in Germany. So it took seven months or six months after that conversation that I got it for it to finally be finished being built in Germany from the ship it over for me to finally take delivery of it today. So this is a car that I didn't, I never knew when was gonna show up. They didn't really know when it would be here. It could have been even next year. And it finally showed up. It was always something I wanted to have. And originally I was gonna get it for Sabrina to replace her C8 because she was thinking about getting rid of it. And then I ended up getting the Urus. And then I gave that to Sabrina. And then I was like, I'm gonna keep the M4 for myself. So it was kind of like a weird, like explanation and I, I I got it just because I wanted to, to just to have this car. I wanted to see if I'd like it. I didn't really have any, like a plan with it or it wasn't a replacement for anything. It was just a, I need to have this car moment and that's what happened. 
So now we have it. And before you guys comment down below, there is another British Racing Green M4, and it's the IND car, but that car is a aftermarket paint job. It's not an OEM paint job from BMW. So to my understanding, there's about four or five G80 M3s in British Racing Green that were individually ordered, which means it's like their custom spec. But we are the only, to our understanding, the only British Racing Green G82 M4. How cool. So that's the story of how we got that car. I'm getting tired and the vlog's gonna end soon. I just need filler, so I'm gonna talk to the camera for 15 it's minutes. It's not filler, okay? It's it's filler if I wasn't explaining something good, but I was explaining something really good. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. You did a good it's job. Not, it's not filler if you don't look at the timer on the side. It's yeah, it's not filler before. if I don't care how long. <laughs> it's not like I'm purposely dragging this clip along right now. Good enough. <laughs> All right, well, I wanna give a big little shout out to Grant for letting us stay the night here because that was not originally the plan. And I wanna say a big thank you to BMW of Westchester for making this possible. I'm very, very excited to kind of dive into the G82 tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna be filming for the next two days while we're here in New York. So there's more BMW stuff to come. I'm so stoked. Leave some suggestions down below as to what modifications we should do with the BMW world, BMW boys. I'm asking you guys for help. Leave some suggestions of what we need to do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and keep moving forward.